हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू इजी एडब्ल्यूएस लर्निंग चैनल अ प्रिपरेशन ऑफ एडब्ल्यूएस इंटरव्यू एंड द सॉल्यूशन आर्किटेक्ट एग्जामिनेशन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट आवर सेशन टुडे एंड लेट्स सी द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन ऑफ टुडे सो द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज व्हाट एस थ्री सर्विस कैन यू यूज टू माइग्रेट ऑब्जेक्ट फ्रॉम वन एस स्टोरेज क्लास टू अनदर एस स्टोरेज क्लास based on age of the data so let's see the question again over here so the question is the want to migrate the s3 uh, class from one class to another class based on the age of data so if i want to migrate uh, the class from the normal s3 standard to the glacier and based on uh, age of data so i want to move my uh, uh, data after 30 days what service i will use so the options is over here is s3 access policy the first options the second option is s3 life cycle policy third option is the glacier and the last option is s3 ia that's the infrequent access so giving you the 5 uh, seconds over here and till time you can write your answer in coming section so let's see okay so answer is s3 life cycle policy you can configure life cycle policy and you can move your uh, data to one class to another class based on your uh, policy rules let's move for the next question here the next question is which ec2 pricing model allow you to the pay a set hourly price for compute giving you the full control over when instance launch and terminates so question is here you need a, a s3 um, model where you can set your pricing based on the hourly and the, also the condition is you need the full control over instance launch and terminates i hope you got the idea about the question so there are two things one is the hourly price and second is the control over the instance so you can write your answer in comment section so let's move for the uh, waiting for the our 5 seconds so starting here so answer is here is on demand instance so spot instance will not giving the full control reserve instance will not giving the the charges of the hourly base because it's a reserve you have to predict the reservation and dedicated instance again you have to give the dedication and it will also compete the because of the your pricing model is hourly and it is dedicated is you have to comply for the specific time zone so on demand can give you the uh, answer based on the uh, price of your hourly and uh, will give the full control over your instance so answer is on demand instance let's move for the next question over here what call to on premise resource management use the sum of service deployed on the public cloud so there are combination of the on premise resource management which use the public cloud so what we call that is what kind of this model so options over here is private cloud option 2 is virtual private network option 3 is hybrid cloud and the last option is the public cloud so what architecture called to and on premise resource management use the sum of the resource which deployed in the cloud so you can judge your answer and write your answer in comment sections let's wait for the 5 second over here okay answer is hybrid cloud i hope your answer would be the uh, right answer let's move for the next question over here so which operating system does amazon cloud was support this is a really easy question here this is again the interview question also there so let's move for the answer 
so answer is uh, amazon cloud which receive and provide matrix for all the ec2 instance and should work with any operating system currently supported by the ec2 service so all the ec2 instance supported os support by the cloud watch so let's move for the next question which of following aws cloud service is fully managed no sql database service let me repeat my question over here which of following aws cloud service is not is fully managed no sql database service so let's see the options the first option is the aws rds second option is aws aurora third option is aws elastic catch and the last option is dynamodb so let's wait for the five second over here and the answer is aws dynamodb so aws dynamodb service is fully no sql database service let's move for the next question over here in what ways does aws s3 object storage differ from the block and file storage so basically amazon s3 gives the object storage and it it's give the um, uh, that you know the it's it is the different from the block storage and file storage so this is a completely object based storage so how it get deeper from the block and file storage so let's see the option the fixed size blocks it store in the fixed size blocks object can be any size that's a big difference over here that could be the answer object contains both data and metadata object are identify the number and numbered address so you can write your answer in comment sections let's wait for the five second and answer is here basically s3 is deeper from the block and file storage is this key difference is it contains the storage of the data and metadata both so friends thank you for, thank you for watching this video please like share subscribe and keep continue to learning thank you